If you'd asked me six years ago, could I imagine this? I, there was no way I could have imagined this outcome. TRI was the result of a vision of a number of researchers in Queensland over the course of the last 15, 20 years. You can see by the building that this is a team working together to combat large medical problems. When I started in April of 2007, we had a blank sheet of paper. And then we had to get the cooperation of all the researchers and the shareholders. People were sceptical about whether it was a good idea to combine research institutes. Well, this came together from a, a vision that Ian Fraser and Derek Hart had. It was agreed that it should be a joint exercise between a number of research organisations, universities, research institutes and the hospitals. That was kind of exciting and different because really what we were trying to do was to merge research institutes intellectually together. Chuck was always interested in what both Ian and Derek were doing and he decided to put in $50 million, providing it was matched by another $50 million. Chuck was the catalyst that made TRI possible. And, and I can tell you some stories of how close it was of not actually achieving what we set out to achieve. Brisbane is probably the underdog of Australia. And Chuck Feeney, he certainly did an awful lot of work in Ireland with Irish researchers who were definitely the underdogs of Europe. And what really attracted me about coming to Brisbane was that there was much more of a can-do mentality. And there was this sense of a beginning of something new and exciting. This is kind of unique in the world. Because what we have is an ability to discover, to trial, to manufacture and to put into practice you know, new drugs and therapies on a tertiary hospital setting. And I think there's only two or three places in the world that have that combination. Research equipment is getting far more expensive. Um, it's got shorter and shorter lifespans. So centralising large, expensive core facilities is what we do here. Without the really top infrastructure, yeah, it's, it's better you don't do research nowadays. There really is an economy of scale, so working together in large groups is, is probably the best way forward. So the different partners are actively forming collaborations where they would never have the opportunity before, and this gives the research a depth that it wouldn't have when the groups were separated. We've brought together a lot of very diverse people and everyone started to talk to each other getting to know each other. I currently have collaborations with all the major partners in this institute. That didn't happen just six months ago before I entered the building. It was built with interactions in mind and there's a lot of very pleasant, very nice areas for the researchers to just bump into each other. We have all this expertise that's in the building and it's amazing what you can learn in the elevator in TRI. We're really looking at the Harvard style model here where our doors are open, clinicians can enter this building uh, and enter discussions with scientists and scientists can actually move into multidisciplinary clinics in the hospital environment and really get the real connection with the disease and the problem with the patients. We have a great manufacturing facility here that will allow us to get into clinical trials early and find out quickly whether something that's been invented in the institute is actually useful in the clinic. We're going to drive drugs into the, the clinic a lot faster than we would have done. TRI is unique for its ability to go right the way from the bench to the bedside. Sort of perpetual myth that scientists work alone and we sit in some back room totally obsessed with our one molecule and our one disease and modern science just simply isn't like that. Probably one of the most important things about research is actually creativity and you really need to be able to look outside the box. If you look at all the historical things that have really changed medicine, they've actually been someone who's thought outside the box. Research is an incremental process. Yes, there are eureka moments and um, the few that I've had in my career, I remember them all because they're so memorable. This real kind of Sherlock Holmes feeling. It's incredibly rewarding. And knowing as a clinician that this information is going to go back to these families and it'll make a big difference is, um, just makes I have the best job in the world. It's also very competitive. It's very difficult to get money to do research and the funding bodies all make sure that you're doing research that is really going to benefit people. Governments are actually the major drivers of innovation in medical research. You can be untied in your research. You can really go for the blue sky and you can visualise what you'd like to find 
and go for it without having the pressure of a commercial milestone. All medical research is a public-private partnership. At the end of the day, we need the pharmaceutical industry to manufacture and get the products out there, but we need government funding to get the basic science sorted out and to understand how disease comes about. Immersion program is a pretty good name for it because we're literally immersed in the yeah. science. It's yeah. something totally different to what we do at school. So we're actually doing real life research. It's actually helping people. Mm. It's actually, real life. Yeah. And it's so cutting edge as well. Yeah. It's, just, it, it's something that you know will benefit people in real time right now. It's something that you'd never get to do anywhere else. I think part of the productivity that we're seeing since we moved into this building relates to the actual physical environment and how beautiful it is. I mean, the heart of the TRI is this atrium. When you're in a lab, you can see all the way through. And that, I think, creates a completely different kind of community than you get in most other research buildings. The design here is really innovative. You have basically a jungle in the middle of the institute. We have this vista out to the city where we can see that we are a small part of a large organism. I can re still remember when Tim Hill came in and, and the team came in to make the presentation on this. A and they captured exactly what we were after. And I think they really blew us away. The design here is so innovative, it's going to encourage people to want to come to work and to actually participate in scientific development. I think it's certainly the most beautiful working environment I've ever been in. Because most research buildings only get 55% usable space from their buildings. The design here gave us 65%. I always think that genetics gives us, you know, a profound insight into the cause of disease. And if we have a better understanding on the real cause of it, we've got a better chance of actually effectually treating it. Medical discoveries will be made that will revolutionise how we treat diseases. And, and to be at the forefront of that and to be involved with it on a daily basis, you know, is really special. It's no other thing that you can do where you, where you really test new ideas every single day. It ignites in you a passion to try and do something, try and get some answers for these individuals. To be able to form an idea into a product, into something that can help people is, is amazing. TRI will certainly provide the environment where unexpected things can happen. Bringing together people from so many different disciplines in the biological sciences, mathematicians, engineers, all in the one place and along with the clinicians that will certainly ensure that the best and brightest people will produce the best and brightest ideas. It's a bit like doing a jigsaw puzzle. The difference is, as a clinician scientist, you don't have the picture on the box. So you work with the edges and the corners and you get some kind of outline and then you have to work your way with that. You need new ways of solving jigsaw puzzles. I think this building represents that for me.